morning guys welcome back to another vlog i haven't vlogged in probably like a week and a half um i am so excited to be back vlogging honestly guys i have been super open about how i'm on anxiety meds and i've been doing that whole thing my emotions have just been like all over the place and i was filming just like a lot of normal stuff and then it was my birthday this weekend so i was just trying to relax i think i really needed the weekend off my first birthday since my 16th birthday i haven't vlogged which is crazy but i did make a little cute instagram video on my instagram if you guys haven't checked it out happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, you. happy birthday Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, there's a TV on the I know. That's cool. We need to be friends. Hi. Hi. Anyways, today's Tuesday. I'm kind of getting my life back in order from the weekend, but I'm also kind of taking it slow, as I mentioned, because I'm just not really feeling myself. So I am going to be doing things that make me feel myself. I'm gonna be cooking. Um, oh my gosh, guys, Midnight Sun, the new Twilight book came out today. If you guys didn't know, there's a fifth Twilight book. The book originally got leaked with the first few chapters or something. Um, years ago, so then she never released it. Um, I'm very excited. We'll talk about it later My groceries were just delivered So I'm actually gonna show you guys my grocery haul for the week and show you guys what I'm eating for the week So it's like what I eat in a week kind of thing Um with all of my groceries that I get and then I'll take you guys through Obviously in vlogs and then on Instagram stories and stuff what I'm making I'm just really focusing on doing things that like put me in a great mood and are good for me and cooking is definitely one of those So I'm excited. I'm back on my cooking grind this week. Actually. I cooked this weekend too So I kind of went crazy this week. Um, I have found that when I make four new recipes, it's just too much food and I normally have leftovers and whatever, but honestly, I just need to cook and I'm very excited. So as you guys can see, I just kind of make a menu each week and then I have been finding a lot of recipes off the Modern Proper. That's my favorite place to look for recipes. But I'm gonna make a chicken Waldorf salad, a green goddess pasta salad, which is really nice because Pasta salads last for like three days, um, a salmon pan, and then stuffed peppers. So here is everything that I got. Some broccoli, um, some grilled chicken for the sandwiches, cheese. This is actually perfect because it's a salad topping, but it's the honey roasted walnut pieces. We have some carrots, chives, way too many chives. This is the problem when I shop on an, like Instacart, like I will never need this many, but it's okay. Oh, more. Well, by chives, I meant green onions. Then I have chives. Um, there are supposed to be six peppers, so I might have to run up to Trader Joe's because I need to get the green goddess salad dressing anyways. Some green olives, quinoa, my favorite yogurt, my favorite granola, the Purely Elizabeth. It's so good. You guys can also get it on Thrive Market for cheaper. Um, I love Thrive Market, not sponsored. Soy sauce, um, black beans, diced tomatoes. I cannot tell you the last time I had mayonnaise. For the Waldorf salad, I needed mayonnaise, so I settled for Sir Kensington's. We'll see how that goes. Some sesame seeds. So this is like a zester slash greeter. Snap peas, um, taco seasoning, lemon juice, sesame oil, more olive oil. I meant for a small salt, but you know, it is what it is. White balsamic vinegar, honey, salmon, ground turkey, for the peppers, kale, avocado, Garlic, ginger, lemon, bananas, grapes, uh, celery, my favorite bread, which is the Dave's um, Thin Sliced Bread. I actually just like Dave's Bread in general. It's really good for avocado toast. Onions. I saw, I think Claudia said this in a vlog recently, that like being an adult is realizing that you need onions for every single recipe, and that's so true. Cucumber, blueberry, and yeah, that is what I have for the week. I will take you guys along in vlogs as well as on my Instagram stories. So follow my Instagram if you guys have not already. I'm just gonna show you guys this right now because it's right here, but you guys are literally gonna die. So first off, I received so many Dolly Parton themed presents this year. I will show you guys. A lot of them I've already put away and like in my office and stuff. My friend Caleb got me this, which is so funny. As well as this photo of us almost like 10 years ago. But this is like so good. You guys are literally gonna die because I think this is the funniest present I've ever received in my entire life. As we know, I have all these prints up here 
in my office and Mark decided he wanted to make me royal too. So he literally, he won't tell me like how he did this, but guys, is that not the funniest thing you've literally ever seen in your entire life? I will never, ever, 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 ever get over this. It is so funny. Then I picked up this oil myself, which I really love this. It's just a hydrating oil. It's really good. I'll show you guys some other things that I got upstairs and you guys will see, but 10 out of 10 would recommend. The Ordinary is also so inexpensive. I got this on Amazon, so it came quicker, but oh my gosh, I cannot believe. It's just literally the best stuff ever. Also, Q got me these Jennifer Fisher hoops. You guys know I love Jennifer Fisher, my favorite hoops ever. The bigger ones that I wear every day are Jennifer Fisher, but I wanted like smaller ones and these are so cute. I also want the massive size, but these are definitely the best ones to get before I get those. Jennifer Fisher is always worth the splurge for me. They last forever. I wear them every day. They like really hold up. You don't even feel like you're wearing earrings, especially the bigger hoops. Like guys, I cannot just like express that enough. I don't even feel them in my ears. But they're just the best thing ever. Also, I have so many flowers like all over my house. Q got me these for my birthday, which is so cute. Oh, I posted this on my Instagram store yesterday, but this is Wine Wick. It's really, really cute. One of you guys, actually your mom makes these, which is so freaking cute. But Sip Save Salvage, so she makes candles out of wine bottles, which is awesome. They have fall scents coming out September 1st, which I'm so excited for because you guys know me in fall. And then this is like so cute. I have flowers everywhere this weekend. I took up new hobbies, paint by numbers. Um, also, my self-tan, I'm like in the middle of getting rid of that. And oh, I also became a florist. This is not my um, fine florist work, guys, but I really love this space. I got it at a craft store. I thought it was so cute. And then I also picked up, again, my favorite candle ever, the Volcano Candle from Anthropology. It just smells so freaking good. Life hack, if you guys are at Target, the Isla Moonlight candle scent is the exact same for like half the price, but um, I was at Anthropology. It's my birthday, and I treated myself. I also got these two notebooks, which is... Very out of character for me because they're so colorful. Guys, like look. You guys know me and notebooks. Like I can never have too many. I love this. I'm going to use this as a prayer journal. And then this is probably like the living room brainstorming or something. But I don't know, guys. I don't know what got into me. But I love this. Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you guys that I got this weekend. I love the Kapari lip glossies. These are so freaking good. Um, but this one is actually... This one actually has color to it. This is the birthday suit. So I got this this weekend. It is so moisturizing. It is the most moisturizing lip balm ever. It also looks like a lip gloss. It's just so freaking cute. So I'll have this link down below because I normally use the clear one, but I actually like this one even better. I just used my hand frother and I only did one scoop of this collagen creamer. I love, I've shown you guys this before, this probably feels like deja vu in the vlog. I love collagen peptides in my coffee and I'm trying the collagen creamer. I didn't have a hand frother last week and it looked actually disgusting. All right, so I have my breakfast, my laptop, my Kindle. I'm gonna get a few more work things here, but I'm actually going to put the morning toast on and just let myself have a great morning. I've already taken the dogs on a really long walk and I worked out and got ready and stuff, but I just kind of want to not put too much pressure on myself. So I'm picking out the morning toast, but like a lot of questions about like what I do when I'm in a funk and stuff. So I thought I would just talk about this. I've definitely been in a funk and I don't want to be like too crazy hard on myself to where sometimes with my work schedule, like I do best when I'm just kind of chill and I actually get more done then. And then sometimes I do best when like my last um, vlog, like my day in my life, it just depends. I think also with someone with like mental health problems is actually like really difficult sometimes. Okay, so anyways, to get out of my funk today, I'm just doing things that make me feel like me again, so I'll be better. Oh my gosh, guys. Yesterday, we launched the living room. Okay, I haven't brought that up yet, and I am so excited. Subscription service with Faith Content Monthly, so we have like podcast style episodes, we have videos, we're doing Q&As, I'm doing devotionals weekly and all that stuff, and I'm just so excited. It's like literally my favorite thing I've ever done. If you guys are interested in joining, I'll have it linked down below, but thank you guys so much to everyone who's already joined. I'm just so excited. We're also going to have like a separate Facebook group just for the members of the Patreon. Obviously, I'm still going to talk about faith and stuff just throughout my channel regardless. Like you don't have to like pay for the subscription for that, but this is just if you're trying to go deeper if you just feel like you've also been in a funk even if you're not like a faith person i feel like it's just 
it's like very motivational and like all about like being healthy in all aspects of your life so it's not um i think anyone would like it but anyways i'm gonna put the morning toast on i'm gonna drink my coffee eat my breakfast do some computer work and feel really good about life i'm also so excited while we're here i just keep talking guys i missed you um so midnight sun i pre-ordered it so it's now on my kindle part of me wants to just like sit around and read this all day and like maybe i will i have schoolwork to do but like I don't know. I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible and then I want to read it. I'm so excited We're actually starting a podcast book club So once a month, I'm gonna do a solo episode on my podcast I have so much podcast and then the last half of it I'm gonna do like my book recap and we're all gonna do read a book each month and for this month I picked Midnight Sun. It's a blast from the past Um, it just wow I feel like I'm being brought back to my roots. I just texted one of my childhood best friends, like any chance that you wanna come over tonight, tomorrow night and like watch a comedy special and eat pizza rolls because that's what we did all growing up. And like I said, I'm kind of a mess right now. So, okay, I'm not like a mess. I just like, I've been better. You know what I mean? Oh guys, I just got more flowers. I wish I would've shown you guys. I literally love getting flowers and it was my favorite thing ever. Um, but dear media, okay, this is actually pretty heavy now. Guys, I for sure have like a flower type. Oh my gosh, I just love these. Thank you guys so much. It's my podcast studio, or my podcast network in case you guys didn't know. I actually really miss being in the studio. You know, I will be once COVID is over. Guys, let's make bets. Comment down below when you think COVID is over. I would love to hear what you guys think because um, it's not looking too great. Hi guys, just on FaceTime with Dom, but I made the Waldorf salad, um, really good. Also, I recently got these little salad tossers that are cute from Nordstrom, but looks great. Um, I hope it doesn't taste like mayonnaise. I actually just got a lot of computer work done and schoolwork, and I actually feel really good about it. Also FaceTimed Dom while I made the salad. Okay, update. I just don't like mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm actually not a picky eater, like in the slightest, but I don't like mayonnaise. And obviously that salad dressing was mainly mayonnaise, but there was other things in it, so I wouldn't say it was like the worst thing I've ever had. Um, I'm mad that I put that dressing on all of it because I would eat more of it later. I also do this thing sometimes where like, Sorry, I'm trying to charge my phone. Sometimes I'll make food if it's just me for the day. I'll make my lunch and then um, I'll eat the same thing for dinner. The salad itself is really good. I didn't love the dressing. I wish I would have gone with another dressing, but that's fine. I've actually realized that today is a um, national holiday and I need to continue on with my life as so. So um, I will be starting Midnight Sun because I've only been waiting for this for, um, you know, like since I was in like, fifth grade. I'm gonna start it right now and just kind of relax. Um, tonight I have Bible study and stuff and I think I have a Revolve package coming today. So hopefully I'll be able to do a haul, but my house feels good. I've had a good morning. I'm feeling a little bit better. Not necessarily like I wanna take on the world, but um, I'm giving myself room to breathe, which is good. It just got released today, August 4th, which is very, very exciting. Obviously there will not be a movie um, with this series because Robert Pattinson hates Twilight probably more than anything. <laughs> Midnight Sun, I think it's just Twilight from Edward's perspective. I know it's Edward's perspective, but I think it's just Twilight and it's not like the entire series. Guys, my day is just getting better. Q dropped off my favorite Starbucks drink as of lately. Oh my gosh, this is really a throwback because this is what I got in high school. I'm just having a very nostalgic day, guys, with Midnight Sun. This is the order, definitely. I mean, tell me how bad it, this is for you in the comments down below. You know, normally I'm a black coffee drinker gal. And today, here we go. Here I am, like refusing to leave my living room, guys. Um, I need to record my intro for this week's podcast episode and send all of those details in. So that is all I'm currently doing. I started reading Midnight Sun, loved it. Also, I'm in the Red Hoods book club, <laughs> or book club, well, the Facebook group. And they, so many people are saying that it's like their favorite Stephanie Myers book to date, which I am so excited for. So I'm gonna get some more computer work done. I have my little reading break. Now I'm gonna put some stuff, I guess, like on the TV, like maybe some YouTube videos. And then, well, actually, first I'm doing my intro. Then I'm setting all of that in, and then probably some YouTube videos, answering just some more computer work. Um, I have some graphics and stuff I need to make. And yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, because I think I forgot to mention this, but. I, no, I did. The book club. I think I did. We're starting a book club for the podcast. 
So this month's read is Midnight Sun. If you guys are not in the Facebook group, you guys need to join the Facebook group. It's like the most fun thing ever. I'm also gonna do some video planning. I have a lot of ideas. I really wanna do videos where it's like, I try a day in the life of like Gary Vee or like Emily Weiss or just like CEOs type things, entrepreneurs, whatever. So I'm gonna just do a lot of planning while watching other YouTube videos, I think. Also guys, I totally realized that I didn't mention my hair. Yes, I am going blonde. So we went lighter. Ignore my hair right now because it was like in a bun all last night. I am going blonde. I got bored. Um, both my sister. Oh, I mentioned this in my last video. I like can't, what is wrong with me? My hair was up, so there you go. I am, in fact, going blonde. In like two weeks, this is definitely not what I want. It's definitely like too red and blah, blah, blah. But we had to like get rid of all the color in order to start and like make it lighter and stuff because I just had so much dark hair dye. So in I think like two weeks, we can do some more. It's going to be a process, but I'll be taking you guys along with me. Hopefully, I don't end up like really regretting this because I love my dark hair, but like I just wanted to change things up, you know? So I just recorded the intro and my package from Revolve has arrived. So I have a little haul to show you guys i am really excited but also at the same time i'm like where am i gonna wear these clothes to the realities of covid have hit me yet again i feel like this happens every few weeks i'm like you know i can do this i'm in a good mood like this is fine you know the world's falling apart but like we got this and then like i you know crash and burn so here we are so like i'm this i cannot get over how funny this is guys like do i look the same oh my gosh i also got the most incredible cowboy boots i cannot wait to show you guys them you will literally die. Here are the boots, guys. Are they not the most beautiful things you've ever seen? They're from Jeffrey Campbell. I got them on sale for, I think I paid $180. These are my birthday gift to myself. And they're originally, I want to say like $380 maybe. I got a good deal on them, but they are beautiful. I'm fully obsessed with them. They're so cute. Guys, like I just feel like these boots just truly deserve to just be on display in my room. Like that's how strongly I feel about them. So I got a lot of dresses. The first dress I got, I figured I could... Um, wear this into fall. It's just this really cute like wrap dress. You tie it, you can wear it. I pictured it with like over the knee boots. I'm really cute with heels. Okay, so this needs to be steamed and tied way better. Like this is not how you tie it, but I actually really, really love this. I think the material is really nice and it would look super cute if I wore like over the knee boots and stuff in the fall. And then you can also dress it down in the summer. This dress I saw on Ami Song's Instagram. I believe it's Song of Style, right? Because I'm assuming it, it was. Yeah, it is Song of Style. And I was just like, I have to have this dress. It's so freaking cute. So it's just this green dress. I absolutely loved it. Like, so beautiful. I've really been into green this year. I have a lot of green clothing, actually. I love this dress. Obviously, it needs to be steamed, but it is so cute. I have a larger chest, so I got a size medium. I definitely recommend, because if not, this just like suffocates you. But I love how flattering it is. I just think it is so freaking cute. I also love this color. It's so in right now. And oh my God, guys, I just can't get over it. It would also be really cute with like white sneakers, white heels, like you, you know, you can do so much with it. Another thing from Song of Style that I'm absolutely obsessed with. The reason that I'm wearing this outfit today that I really don't like is because I just need to do laundry. I would have worn this had I had it already, but I got this top, which is so freaking cute. I got this in a size small. Um, I don't even know what material this would be. But then I also got matching pants. Like, look at how cute these are, guys. And I got these in a size, let's see, small as well. Um, my hair is a mess because the head hole for this top was a little bit small, not gonna lie, but I love this. I would even maybe size down a little bit, but I just think it is so cute. It's gonna be so cute with heels. It's a little bit long for me. Um, I'm 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, ish I think that this is like the cutest thing ever. I'm just so obsessed with it. There's so many ways you can wear it. Oh, I love sets like this. Like, I would live in these if I could. Like, if this is all I could wear, this is what I would wear. Okay, let me go back and tell you what sizes I got. This dress I got in a size medium, I want to say. Yeah, medium. And then I got in a size small. Okay, is this not so freaking cute? I, I got this cute little top. I never have cute top. Oh, this is like literally just covering my boobs and I don't even know if it will do that. Actually, I have a cute skirt I think I wear this with. This definitely covers a lot more than I thought. The reason I was worried when I first got it is because I have a larger chest, so sometimes these tops just like don't work for me, but I actually think it's super cute, super summery, love it. I love the color, the detailing. I don't know, I just think it's super cute. So, um, 10 out of 10 recommend. Also, I really like the size as well. Um, on me, so I just think it's super cute. Another dress, I know, surprise, surprise. 
I thought that this was super cute. It's a size small. I love how it's like a maxi dress. I love maxi dresses. This dress is just really pretty. It definitely cuts a little bit weird right here. Like it cuts over your butt basically. So I feel like there's like a little added fabric around your stomach, but I love it. I think it's just like darling, the word I've been using. Like it's just a beautiful dress. I don't know how else to describe it. Like the print is just so pretty. Oh, I loved this top. I thought this was super fun. I didn't have anything like it. It's super colorful and then it ties around your stomach. This top is really cute. I'm holding this back here because I haven't. It has like a little, it has like a little clasp that I can't get to right now, but I just think it's adorable. Um, I picture this with like light denim and some heels. I think it is so fun, so cute. Big fan everyone, but it looks better when this is clasped. It's just a little bit loose on the top and it just like is more flattering and fitting when it's actually clasped how it's supposed to. But I got this in a size small. I have a lot of dresses and all that, but I feel like I never just have a lot of tops. I'm the worst about buying tops. I also got this top, which I thought was cute. It just goes, I don't even know how to describe it. This is gonna have to go work for the try-on haul. Okay, I also absolutely love this top. It is so light, guys. It almost feels like you're not wearing a top, so it's perfect for summer. It'd be really good if you're gonna be outside because you're not gonna sweat, but I just think it's so cute. And then also, I can even dress it up in the fall. I love the little ties and twist. Don't mind me right now, my self tan's really messed up, but yeah, I just think it's super cute. It definitely looks better in person than it does on camera right now, not gonna lie, but I think it is so cute. I got this top as well. Like I said, I think this is song. No, it's not. It's Lovers and Friends, and I got it in a size medium. Super fun. You can this shirt is truly getting a 10 out of 10 for me. The material is absolutely incredible. It's really soft. It's going to be so versatile. I can wear it in so many different ways. Like, I just absolutely love it. I love the material. I just, oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, this was, like, really out of character for me, but I really liked it. Um, this little denim skirt, I thought it would be perfect with my boots. This is in a size medium. Honestly, this skirt, I think it fits really well. I would have maybe gone to a small just because I know when you guys are like, it looks like it fits. It does, but it doesn't always fit my waist. So then I feel like it might be more flattering if it was a little bit smaller just because there's a lot around. But I think this skirt is super, super cute and it's actually really comfortable as well. And I also, guys, got the most beautiful like white tank top. Is this not so cute? And this tank top is just a good classic tank top to have. It's a little bit itchy, not gonna lie, but not like to the point where it'd bother you that much. I look like I'm about to head off to Jexa for a country concert, if any of you guys know what I'm referring to. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And then the boots, guys. Like, moment of silence because these are seriously just the best thing that's ever happened to me. But I'll have them all linked down below as well because I think they're super cute. We just went on a little walk and now Fitz is playing with his favorite toy that he has. I just filmed the try on portion of the Revolve haul and I showered. I have on my Summer Fridays jet lag mask and a hair mask on. I never leave my hair mask on outside of the shower. So we'll see what this does. I'm gonna work on my newsletter for this week if you guys haven't joined. I feel like all my vlogs are literally the same guys. That's another reason why I haven't been vlogging because I'm like, I, literally it's COVID. I don't really leave my house. That's it. Like I just don't even know what to vlog. Um, but I'm just doing like normal work stuff, so I'm gonna work on that. Drink the rest of my chai. It is taking me forever to drink this. And yeah, I need to work on the post for the book club, which I'm so excited for. Um, and then work on some links and stuff because this vlog I'm gonna post tomorrow and I want you guys to be able to shop the stuff that I talk about. So, that is the plan. Coco is just my editing buddy right here. I've actually really liked just working on the couch and kind of having a more chill day. Guys, oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, are you guys crying? Because I am. Look at how big he's gotten. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Hi, pup. Oh, pup. No bite. No bite. No bite. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, no, let's not bite my cheek. Oh, what the heck? I was. Okay, are you on my remote? Yes, I think you are. You are. Fitz, you messed up the video. No bite. Guys, I can't wait for him to be over his teething phase. It's truly gonna be incredible. Do you know how many teething toys he has, but he still wants to bite my arm and my face? It's really just like not okay. Oh. 
Don't be hateful. Be loving. If it's you are so kind, you are handsome, you are sweet, you are nice. Right? 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 Oh, oh, now he's trying to attack Coco. Okay. Guys, okay, so my sister just stopped by um, and she wanted to see it fit. And guys, like, oh my gosh, I have some battle wounds. Not good, not good at all. Um, joys of having a puppy. But I actually have a first, oh my gosh, not first day beauty, throwback. A Function of Beauty um, podcast ad to read, which I didn't even realize. And I have my Function of Beauty hair mask in right now. I didn't even know I had this ad read to do. So I'm gonna do that. I'm really in pain right now, but I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm a lot more productive in like the afternoon slash nighttime as of lately. Make your bed and just do all the packing on your bed. It makes it so much easier. Guys, I'm watching my friend Mia's vlog. I will have her channel linked down below. I love her videos. I've been friends with her literally, honestly like four or five years now. She's one of my first friends that I made in LA and I love her. Her vlogs are really, really good. I think if you like my videos, you'll like hers, but I'm actually, I just wanted to share that because I'm making my newsletter for this week and she's my favorite follow. So anyways, I'll have her channel linked down below. All right guys, I just added some balsamic in this random thing to make this taste less like mayonnaise -y. Um, but it's really good. Like, the salad itself, I'm gonna start making more often, just with a different dressing. And then I just filled up some mason jar of water. Wow, guys. Okay, I just got a Bible study. I've literally been on my couch so much today. Um, it was so freaking good. I have my bed all situated. This is, like, really messed up, but I'm gonna actually edit the vlog from today. And then after that, I'm going to read Midnight Sun, which is very exciting. Also... I will never get over these boots, ever. Update on this. So this print needs to be taped to the back so it doesn't keep falling. That white wine glass has just been there for so long. I keep drinking kombucha out of wine glasses. Danielle and Lauren do it and it's the best thing ever. But um, this is what I have and then I have, this is just not on the wall right now, but I have this basket back here with my yoga mat and stuff because I've been working out upstairs. I don't know, I like working out in both places and then I have some like paint by number things over there because we've been um, painting on the rooftop, which has been really nice. So I washed my hair mask out of my hair and I'm just gonna let my hair air dry, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, if you guys did, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, subscribe, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.